Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Glad that you've joined us and just so glad that um, you're going to be different, I believe, after mm -hmm. the fact. God has given us a word today, and we're going to go with it. So the name of our devotion is called At Ease. <laughs> right. Now, Alex was a sergeant in the Army, right? In the Marine Corps, yeah. In the Marine Corps. Oh, okay. Okay, so tell me when you use that term, at ease. At ease, men. Yeah, so it's, basically that allows people in formation to move their bodies so they no longer have to be completely rigid. Mm -hmm. But they're not allowed to move their right leg. So they're still stationary. They're going to stay in formation. They're going to stay quiet. But they don't have to stay at the position of attention or stay in a formation. It's really hard to keep that, that, that posture up for a long time. So you're kind of putting them in a relaxed state without setting them loose. Mm. Like if you put someone at rest, that means that they could start talking and start doing okay. other stuff like that as well. But at ease just means, hey, look, don't, don't be there completely rigid. Stand in one position for a little bit or we're going to figure things out. You put people mm -hmm. at ease while usually like while you're addressing them or if you just want to talk to them and then not talk back, that type of stuff. Huh. Okay, so you said if they stay long enough, they're going to start talking. It's just going to get to be a casual. Well, if you put them at rest, then they can talk. At ease is a position where it's like, hey, you can make yourself somewhat comfortable, but you can't really move from where you're at, and okay. you, you can't talk. So it, instead of sitting locked, you know, locked and completely mm -hmm. tight, it's a position that you can put people in where it's one-way communication from you to them. That's and good. then they can oh, move okay. like their upper bodies, but they can't necessarily move from the position you put them in. It's like Jasmine and I with these uh, uniforms that we found <laughs> upstairs in the costume closet. <laughs> We're actually, we're, we're just tight in these. Okay. So at ease means? It's worry-free, relaxed, and at peace. So it's a relaxed, military, it's a relaxed attitude, like yeah, you said. It's a relaxed position. Yep. Okay. Um, now tell me something. I saw this recently in a mm -hmm. scripture, and it's Psalms 115, 14 through 15. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The word ease is an increase. So when we are in, when the Lord increases us, we're at ease, right? Right. And right. so I just began to see it in so many different words. I saw the word ease uh, in, well, of course, uneasy. That's the right. opposite. So tell me, Alex, have you been through a, to an easy situation? I mean, in the military or just in your life where it's like, man, this don't feel at ease. I'm, I'm not mm. at peace here. Mm. Tell me about it. Well, I think, I think one of the times that it wasn't just me, but everybody in the room was, was uneasy is when I got to go to the demilitarized zone. So we're North Korea and South Korea. It's the, the area where they're able to interact with each other, but there's, you know, there, there, it, it's, it's a one little place. It's a UN building on the demilitarized zone where they can, you can actually see North Koreans and they can see South Koreans and the place is all cordoned off. And when they have UN meetings, they can go into some common area. But on both sides, it's like you walk into a room and like if your parents were just fighting, like it's, it's a real <laughs> serious place of unease. Like nobody right. there yes. is like Tense. relaxed. Yeah. Nobody there is like, nobody's chatting and like, like watching TV and having a good time. It's like a place of very serious rigidness and you can mm. feel the tension in the room. So nobody's at ease. And waiting wow. for the next bomb to blow, right? right. <laughs> it yeah. could happen. Yeah. Right. So Lamentations 3 and 25 says, The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the souls who seek him. Going to the next one, uh, 326. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. So that's to be at ease. Mm. And we don't like that position, do we? Right. <laughs> do you like that position of waiting? No, no. I mean, like, there's a lot of times when you're like, and when you put people at ease, they're not allowed to talk. They, I mean, they feel a little bit more comfortable, but you can be left there for hours. Like you can wow. be left there for a long period of time if they don't want you to move from that place, especially in boot camp. That's a really common thing. And so you're just sitting there waiting for the next instruction. Mm. And so while your position may be at ease, you're not necessarily at ease on the inside. Well, when he said wait or hope and wait quietly, hope there means. In the Hebrew, it's patiently expectant to trust, twist, and whirl to dance. Isn't that something huh. while you're waiting, you just he just wants you to enjoy where you're at to mm. get to where you're going to be. Mm. So wait, si wait quietly is to be. It's to be dumb with silence, to be still, adverbally silent, to hold your peace, and to be at ease. So tell me a guard in the military so you can't have you ever tried to like we've been to russia mm -hmm. and you can't get them to say anything um to say mm -hmm. a word i mean their feet and back can still be they, it can be hurting but because they're standing you know because they're standing so long but what are they there to guard well they're, they're there to keep out intruders right like they're there to be focusing on what they're supposed to be looking for which would be threats typically so they're, you're, they're not supposed peace. to be there like the ones that they have posted outside like buckingham palace and things like that the idea is that 
they're supposed to be on alert for threats, not necessarily interacting with people and being distracted outside of their duties. So they're guarding our peace. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So with the exception of a Christian counselor, look at this, talking to everybody about our problem, <laughs> right. our situation stays alive and we lose our peace. Exactly. We're not at ease. Right. And how many of you have experienced that? Where it's, I mean, somebody's going through something oh, yeah. and you're talking about it, but it's like Proverbs 26 and 20. Mm -hmm. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out. And where there's no tail bear, strife ceases. Ceases. Yeah. There's the word Stop. ease in there in the word ceases yeah, there's the good. word ease so that so what he's saying is you know don't get in the midst of right turmoil mm -hmm. or confusion you got to guard your peace and stay at ease psalms 37 and 8 says cease from anger and forsake wrath do not fret it only causes harm so cease again there's the word <laughs> ease in there and so we can in our, even in our waiting time have you ever been got frustrated and even mm -hmm. got angry you know, yeah, no, I mean, in the military, they call it hurry up and wait, right? <laughs> so like, you, you only get as much information as you need. And, like, uh, we, you know, we had times where, like, when we were out in Asia, you know, they would basically take us to a position of, like, hey, we're going to go someplace. We can't tell you when. We can't tell you what time it is. But you wow. need to be setting by and be ready. <laughs> so you had to have everything packed up, everything ready to go. You don't know really where you're going, what time. And so there's that, that uneasiness time. But, and you're, you're, like, you know, you're not out there. It's not particularly, you know difficult to, you know, just sit and wait in theory, but when you're actually, you know that you're someplace you're supposed to go, you don't know anything about it, it really is like a really stressful and uneasy time. Yeah. yeah, so when he says cease from anger, it means to? It's to discontinue and put a stop to it, it to bring ease. There's times you just have to put a stop to something, right? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. bringing you turmoil. You're just, right. You have to say, no, I'm, I'm putting a stop to this, yes. you know, because God has called us to peace. Mm -hmm. And so God is not the author of confusion, but right. he is a God of peace. And it, lo lo it loses power over you. That's right. And because that's, if the devil can, he will set you up for an upset. Right. And then you're, I mean, look, uh, Jasmine and Alex are planning for a wedding. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you, are you at ease? Yes, we really are. Why are you at ease? <laughs> well, because, I mean, there are times where you do, you have to guard. It can it can become stressful if you let it. But you do, you have to guard, like, how you're going to go about it, how you're going to handle situations, how you're going to respond to people. And you do protect your peace and, and follow after it, too. I think, I think, like, one of the things is, like, I, I'm at ease about it because I know that I picked the right person. Oh, and so sometimes when, when, you're, when you're doing things that God's called you to do right. or you feel like God has really put in your heart, put you position in to do, like, while the world would be going crazy, you can right. feel really at peace or at ease with it. And so, like, I remember I, when I took a new job, I was like, hey, I'm going to have to fly and live in D.C. And I was going to have to move on four days' notice. And then mm -hmm. there's all this tur turmoil. And I remember I was talking to someone about it, and I was telling her what I was going to do. She started breaking out in hives. And she goes, like, I mean, she had this, like, rash show up on her chest. She's like, this stresses me out so much that you're willing to do this. <laughs> you talking I, about you? Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't know someone else. <laughs> I, I missed something. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, just talking to her about what I was going to do, she mm. was completely freaked out. Like, it would stress her out for that, 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 you know, to go through some sort of a transition like that. But for me, since I knew that that was, you know, something that had been put on my heart for a long time to seek out that opportunity to me I was completely peaceful about right. it right isn't that good I mean that's what I mean you are at ease when yes. things are when you know you're following after God yes. He's, yes. he's going to keep you at ease that's when right. you guard look the peace of God that passes all understanding right. um, will keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus mm -hmm. um, so tell me about Jericho okay they marched around the wall mm -hmm. they had to be silent yeah <laughs> they had to wait quietly they couldn't talk mm -hmm. about it or it would have caused them to lose their peace they wouldn't have been at ease. Tell me why they had to be quiet. Well, I think that, again, this was this was something that God wanted to demonstrate his glory. Right. And so he wanted it, there to be no doubt that this was something that was absolutely his work. He didn't want them to say any sort of things. He just wanted them to go through and follow his instructions so everyone there knew that this city fell because of what God had done. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes God puts us in those situations where, you know, like we have to be silent or we have to trust in him. And, and, and a lot of times those allow us to reflect some of God's glory because there's no other way that those things could be accomplished. Right. So it makes us uneasy because, you know, sometimes our, our faith is weak and our trust is a little bit weaker. But at the end of the day, when we follow God's word, he does put enough, at least enough right. peace to see. Right. I mean, there could be stuff going on all around. That's you. Right. There could be right. bombshells in right. the air, you know, right. but if you are at ease, you're like, God, I know you're going to take That's care right. of it. I know you're going to take care of it. So. Let me ask you this, please, the word ease is in please. If you know that the most important person in your life is pleased with you, what does it do? It puts oh, you at ease. It puts you at ease. <laughs> it really does. Matthew yeah. eleven twenty eight through 30. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There's that ease yeah. again. <laughs> my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Easy comes from a word meaning to ease. Mm -hmm. means free from pain, discomfort, worry, or care. Do, do we always get this right? 
No. 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 But what we have his word to keep reminding right. us, That's look, right. trust Watch me. You. What his word tells us to do is, you know, be still and know that I am God, mm -hmm. you know, and just be at ease. Number six, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That's what he's saying. We mm -hmm. have to be reminded of that scripture. That's Look, right. You yes. know, just go through life and, and refuse the turmoil. When it says lift up his countenance, you know what mm -hmm. this means? And the Hebrew is to forgive you, to accept you, to smile at you, and to be pleased and at ease with you. Isn't that great? Yeah, that and is. that's what he's saying. I'm mm -hmm. at ease with you. You be at ease with me. Yes. And whatever the situation is, know that I'm in control. Um, please, that means fully agreeable. Mm -hmm. It's well done. Yes. And it's saying, I'm proud of you. Good job. Be at ease because he is. Yes. And so that's what our, I believe the word is today is just, you know, I know stuff mm -hmm. can be happening all around you. Yes. But when you say, I trust you, he delights in those mm -hmm. that trust him. That's yes. what his word yes. says. And regardless of what's, what you're experiencing, you can truly be at ease mm -hmm. and cast your care. Just shake it off. Right. <clears throat> you may have had some negative things happen to you today. Just shake it off. So tell me about it, um, Alex. I think bring that, us home. I, I think that at being at a, a state of unease, sometimes that, that can be from God. There are times in your life where you're like, there's conviction. You know, there's times where it's like, hey, I'm not easy with this sin that's in my life. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's yes. an opportunity for God. You can that's trust good. in him and for him to bring you through right. it. So not all uneasiness is bad. But the problem is most of us, we have this situation where God's given us peace. And then we try to pull all these other, this, right. you know, all this unease into it. You know, we go out and we talk with other people. We start gossip. We start mm -hmm. bringing uh -huh. all this focus into our lives. And so I think one of the most important things for me is just getting discernment on whether that unease is from God or is that something I'm allowing other people to put right. in? Because the devil will use unease to get That's you right. to do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think I think the first thing is to pray and, and to see if, if, that's, if that unease is coming from God. Is that conviction of something wrong in your life? Or is this something that the devil's trying to put into your life to get you mm -hmm. off the track? And so, that's so good. And you know what? The difference, condemnation comes from the devil. It brings guilt and shame. Jesus said, I've come not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But what he does, but God brings conviction. Right. It's gentle. Con right. uh, condemnation brings guilt and shame. But conviction is gentle right. and it brings change. Mm -hmm. And so that's the uneasiness that you're feeling. It is, right. It's like, this isn't right. right. Mm -hmm. You know, you're mm -hmm. not at ease. That's a healthy one, right? right. right. Exactly. But he's saying, you know, look, whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, I want you to trust in me. Mm -hmm. It's in so many sure. words. Please cease, yes, you know, yes. uh, increase, yes. you know, you'll, you'll be able to experience that. Mm -hmm. Just, wow, God, this is the abundant life. I don't have to live in turmoil. Right. Right. Refuse it, right? Yes. Refuse it. Refuse to live in turmoil or mm -hmm. get, uh, get something on you. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yes. You yes. got to just shake it off. So. Would you lead us in prayer? Yeah, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we know that, that sometimes in life we're going to experience unease, God. And we'd ask that you give us discernment to determine what, what, what the best course of action is. But in yes. general, we know that for, for certain that if we take that to you, we take that unease to you, God, that you'll show us the right path. Yes. You'll let us know that if this is something that we need to take out of our own life or if this is something that we need to just trust in you for. And so, God, we'd ask that you, you'd soften our hearts to that, that mm -hmm. we're able to, when we pray with you and when we read your word, God, that you would guide our yes. steps and give us the courage to take our, take our burdens to you, our uneasiness to you, so we can rest in your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's so good. Amen. It made me think of uh, Psalms 34 and 14. He said, if you want to see good days, keep your lips from speaking any guile, any deceit. He said, depart from evil, do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Mm. You'll be at ease. You'll enjoy your life. You will. Yes. Listen today. God loves you. Yes. We love you. And have a great rest of your day. day. All right. Bye-bye.